this is just a quick update on my 8-bit computer project. This is my prototype. As you can see, I added a video interface and a keyboard. I'm planning to make a kit where everything is integrated on one PCB that is mounted into a case like this instead of the front plate. So you have the breadboard and all connectors on top. I'm now going to show you the software that I made. The link to the source code is in the description. To get the code into the machine, I'm still using the same method I showed you in my previous video. But instead of typing the machine code in by hand, I wrote a script that does it for me much faster. So far I have a keyboard driver, a graphics driver and a machine code monitor, which allows me to directly modify the machine code on the machine. Later I'm going to add a file system, an assembler, text editor and even a C compiler so this becomes a self-sufficient system. But for now let's just play around with this machine code monitor. You can move around and write bytes. That's basically what a machine code monitor does. So this is the source code and I'm going to modify the video reset code. It has the background color hard-coded into it down here and I'm going to change that value and then call the video reset routine. The mapping file shows me the memory locations on the machine that I need to change. E289 holds the background color. If I change that I can call video reset which is located at E269. I'm now navigating to E289 and I change the background color value from blue to let's say green. When I now call video reset, which is here, you can see the background color changed to green. You can now watch me playing around with this and trying different colors. This may not seem to be too exciting, but the next thing I'm going to implement is loading machine code from the serial interface, which allows me to remove the debugger. And after that, I will add a file system, which will make the computer even less dependent on external hardware to operate. In the end, I will make a whole computer game that runs on the computer, but also the development will happen on the computer. And I will release all the tools and software I used to do that with it. Thanks to all my subscribers who are interested in this project. I guess that many people like me would love to have a computer system like they were in the 1980s. Simple enough to understand, yet powerful enough to have lots of fun with it. So that's why I'm making this project and yes, I'm making it into something that you can buy. I don't know how long it will take, maybe a year or two, until I have a production ready PCB and all the software that you need. But Thanks for your support and thanks for watching.